Hey, guys, give me a break. You are not going to find out anything about Arlington by coming into my bathroom. Unless. You know, I, I always did wonder where, where that goes. comes here. Look at this place. I don't understand what's going on here, and that's where Frank comes in. Frank, how did all this water get here? Well, this water is wastewater generated in Arlington County. Uh, six major processes. The first is preliminary treatment. The preliminary treatment building uh, accepts the wastewater from 14 different pump stations in the county. We screen it, uh, we remove grit, and then the next major process is primary treatment. Primary treatment, uh, we're going to take advantage of the physical characteristics of the wastewater. And we slow the flow down enough so that things that are heavier than water will settle to the bottom of the tank. Things that are lighter than water will float to the surface of the tank. If it comes to the top of the tank or floats to the bottom, we can remove it. It's kind of like skimming the fat off of a soup, maybe. Oh. So, how fast is this water moving? Uh, it will take approximately two hours from the influent side of this tank to the effluent side. Two hours detention time at our typical 30 million gallons per day of wastewater. That's how much wastewater we process. I, I notice over where those guys are walking, they got a big white pipe. What is all that about? That's part of a extensive and, and new odor control system. Uh, the solids that are generated on this side of the plant can tend to be a little odorous and noxious. So the fumes from the effluent channel of these primary tanks are, are captured and, and sent through a scrubber system uh, where we add some chemicals to strip the odors uh, and what's discharged is, is odor free. Well, that's good then because it kind of stinks around here. Well, let's move on to the next process where the air is a little fresher. Dave. Okay, I got my hard hat, got my goggles, let's go. David, now we're approaching our flow equalization system. Uh, we have a series of eight pumps here, each capable of pumping six million gallons a day into our equalization storage tanks, brand new tanks, part of the major upgrade here. Uh, they're designed to handle wet weather flows primarily. When it rains, we can get up to 150 million gallons into the plant. It allows us to trim these wet weather flows uh, so that we don't send any partially treated wastewater into the receiving stream. We discharge slowly and filter it through at times of uh, dry weather. Wow. Come on, David, I'll show you the other side of the plant. Wow, it's really noisy here. You got a lot of work going on. Yeesh. Yeah, David, we're actually bringing a couple of new aeration tanks online. Uh, this is the next step in the treatment process called activated sludge. We're letting the bacterial population remove the organic material that's remaining in the wastewater. The primary effluent from the north side of the plant acts as a food source for the bacteria. The bacteria generally like to have oxygen to breathe, much as we do. We provide air through diffusers, uh, very similar to what you'd see in an aquarium. So the bacteria are actually working to clean the water? That's right, David. The bacteria are among the hardest workers in the plant. Given the right environment and the right amount of food, they do a super job of removing the organic material that's in the wastewater. And if you notice, on this side of the plant, there are very few odors. Well, so if they're the hardest workers, do they get benefits? No, we get the benefits. So the water that those bacteria were chewing on, that comes over here and arrives here in this thing? That's exactly what's happening here, David. The activated sludge in aeration tanks uh, has an opportunity to slow down and settle in these tanks. Very similar to the primary settling tanks. If we get it on the bottom, we can remove it. Wow, so, so that's it, and that's, that's the end then, right? Not quite, there's still more. There's more? There's more. Oh, well, we'll show you, we'll go to the next process. All right, great. So this is the last stage in the process? Yes it is, David. This new facility is a state-of-the-art treatment process known as denitrification filtration. Wow, and there's a bed of sand at the bottom here. Uh, six feet of sand. This serves as a gravity filter to remove any fine particles that are still in the wastewater. 
Uh, however, it's designed more as a microbiology to remove any nitrates that are still in the wastewater. So, from the time you came in here, you used mechanical screens and then uh, gravity and then bacteria and then more gravity and more bacteria and now microbiology all to make the water clean. That's correct, David. This is our plant outfall, David. What started out as 30 million gallons of raw wastewater is now 30 million gallons of super clean water. And it's being discharged into Four Mile Run. Everything we've seen, every physical, chemical, and biological means at our disposal, was done to make this water as clean as possible.